Alright guys, welcome back to the walkthrough. Now, unfortunately, I went around the inner sea and collected some of the two of the two out of the three bottles which contain items. Now those bottles I'm referring to are are bottles that are floating around in, on in the sea. Or on the sea. They're floating around on the surface of the water. Now um, the bottles each all contain items and well mostly contain items, but a lot quite a few of them also contain hints to find certain locations and or hints um, to improve your gameplay experience, things like that. So unfortunately, I took two out of the three item bottles <laughs> in the inner sea by accident and accidentally saved. So oopsie daisies. Now, um, first off, there was a bottle to the right, just to the right here in on the ocean, and that would contain a secret sign. So which, um, <laughs> basically from the ship graveyard, sail due north until you get to basically where I am. Yeah. So if Adelaide is easy to find, that's what's <laughs> what, what's to the north of us, and then just go inside Adelaide when you get the secret sign. Now from here you're going ahead due due west until you get to this guy right here. I am a traveling swordsman. In my travels, I have heard of scrolls called the Secret Sign, which pass on ancient sword fighting techniques. If you give me one of these scrolls, I will show you a new sword technique. So give him the scroll, and there you go. There's a soul in everything that exists. You can defeat an enemy by damaging its soul without touching its body. You can reach its soul by extending your own. This is the essence of the void. The ultimate sword fighting mentality. So now we got ourselves a new fast draw hint. So what we're gonna do is sort it out. And if you'll notice, if you have been like me, you'll notice that you will have towns where there are items still scattered about. Now, if that has happened to you, go ahead and go back to towns, use the radar, and pick up all the things you've missed. Okay. So as for this, um, the hint from swordsman. This is basically a death blow attack. What that means is, if this hit connects, it will. If the hit actually works, you will insta kill the enemy. It won't work on bosses for obvious reasons, but it will work on most random encounter enemies. Okay, so now we're gonna. Before we continue on with the story, we got a few places to visit. Um, yeah, two two Elu pyramids. Ah, oh, yes, that's right. I figured out what the Elwa, how to pronounce it properly. It's Elu. So, yeah, we're going to start using the proper pronunciation. So, in the, uh, there are two Elu shrine, shrines that we have to go to now that we have the grappling hook. But first, we're going to head north from Adeline and go into Lilithia's tomb. Oh, by the way, I'll show you where the two item bottles that I, that I took um, during my escapades. And, yeah, I'll show you where they are. One of them was the secret sign, which I told you about, just east of Adelaide. The other one is a lucky charm, uh, not a lucky charm. It is a lucky card, just to the northeast of Adelaide. So use a grappling hook here, get this crest graph, and exit Lilithia's tomb, and then I'll see you guys back at the ship. All right guys, so from the ship, head northwest of Adelaide, and in this in this section right here, you will see the floating, bo the floating bottle. At that point, you're gonna want to Go right up to it and talk to it, and you'll get your lucky card. Now, from here, you're gonna you're gonna want to continue heading south until you reach the ship. Well, not ship graveyard, it's just to the left, but you want to go right and go follow the coastline here until you get just to here, and we should go back to Port Timney. And here we are, Port Timney. Now, from Port Timney, it won't, <laughs> if you'll notice that the enemies on this in the sea are much stronger than the ones on land. So yeah. If you need to go into Port Timney, heal up, refresh your ammunition, and can head north from there into the El Elu Pyramid here. Now, you'll now here are the um, pillars. So grapple onto the left or right; it doesn't matter what you choose. You're gonna get items either way, and pick up some good items. We got the memoir pen, the sunglasses, and the angel quill. Now I'll show you what they are. Okay, so here we go. Angel Quill, nullify bad omen. Basically, that's like um, Cecilia's curse spell, which will up your encounter rate. Flash will make you will reduce your parry rate, which means you'll dodge less often. And forgetfulness. This means um, oh, what's forgetfulness again? Oh yes. Um, what happens is that instead, if you're inflicted with forgetfulness and it's your turn to attack, there's a chance that you will skip your turn. Okay, so grapple over to the right now. Holy clip, secret sign, and crest graph. Now, now that you've given your secret sign over, 
I would recommend putting all your secret signs to meteor dive until it's one. And then if if you want Jack to be like a secondary auxiliary healer, start um, reducing the MP consumption of Heal Blade. Those two are very useful, especially in later in later um, boss matches. They're very very useful. Okay, so there is another temple with. All right, guys. I'm sorry for the for the um, random blackout. Um, first off, the area I'm in now is an is another Elu shrine. In order to get here, go from the the shrine you were just in and take the teleportal um into this one here. So once you're done that, just head south through the doorways until you get to these um, pillars. So yeah, hopefully you understood that. It's yeah. So use the grappling hook, go across, and then get your two freebie chests here. There we go, and there we go, two crest graphs. Now, like I said earlier. Save your crest graphs. Um, the end. Well, there is one other spell you should get. So, um, this one is is basically a revive spell. It'll if somebody dies, then what'll happen is you cast it on them, and it'll act as as the item revive fruit. It'll do the same thing. Um, the the item no the magic description is revive recover senses Re recover senses revive senses something like that. So find it and then get it. Very useful if the character dies in game or in battle and you don't have any revive fruits. So, um, yeah, gonna black out again. Not a random this time, thank goodness. Until we get back to the ship. Alright, guys, we're back in the ship. Now, what we're gonna do to, in order to get to the tri pillar, which is where we need to go for the next video, is head due east. But for that, we're, I'm gonna show you where the last item bottle is in the inner sea. So, follow the path east, southeast, and then go. From here, south, go around this, I don't know what to call it, but just go around it. Moat. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> a moat because of the castle there. Now here is the final item. And get it? Oh, okay, well I guess there's not an item. Oh god, how stupid. Okay, so there's only two items around the inner sea and one message. Adventurous captain of trade sheet ships seeks open-minded ladies 18 years plus for the what? This is from Bartholomew then, dog. <laughs> okay, so that was pretty nice to hear about, um, I guess. Anyways, ignore that and go around. Oh my god, here it is. Okay, so there is three. Haha, sorry about that, guys. I got a little mixed up. Yeah, got a little mixed up. So, yeah, from north of Tri Pillar, which is that triangle tower thing you've seen in the water, just go north and you get yourself a crest graph. Now, all you have to do now is go back down to the Tri Pillar and wait for the next video in order to see what happens in the tri pillar. Now the tri pillar here is incredibly annoying because you do get separated. Unfortunately, I know how you're feeling. It sucks. But anyways guys, thanks for watching. Come back next time and we'll take on the tri pillar.